no doubt about it. It's the strain 25 space virus. Do you have any serum on Orpheus 2? No, we don't. We've never needed it before. I'll check with Galaxy Medical Central. Fast as you can, huh, Doctor? Fast as I can. Don't worry, Stella. As soon as he gets the serum, Charlie will be fine. Marshall here. He's close! I'm seeing him in Molly, where are you? Just past Chicken's Corner, near the... Molly, where are you? Molly? Come in, Molly. Another stage robbery. Try to rest, Stella. Doc will find that serum for Charlie. Oh, thank you, Marshall. You're a good friend. Are you all right? I'm okay, but I feel a lot better when you catch those ornery space rats. They took the stage and headed that way. I'll send someone to fetch you. Come on, partner. Let's see if we can pick up their tracks. <laughs> Great place for an ambush. You're thinking more like me every day. Well, nobody's perfect. What is it? Shh. Ears of the wolf. Ears of the wolf. Boy, that sure was easy. Uh, it wouldn't have been if this engine had conked out earlier. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. I've heard enough. We're going through. Strength of the bear. The bear. The bear. <laughs> Hold it right there. Guess you didn't hear me. All right, now where's the strong box? What strong box? You see any strong box, Bart? Nope. Your tracks lead right here from the strato stage. Sure they do. We passed it when we came here. You gonna arrest us for walking by a stage? <laughs> no, for robbing it. Well, there's nothing in the comp file on either one of them. They're not wanted anywhere. We're innocent, we tell you. JB, I got a gut feeling about them being involved with those other robberies. Oh, Brave Star. All you heard was one of them say it was easy. Now you didn't find the strong box. You don't have any solid evidence. You hear that, Marshal? You've got no solid evidence. And I'm gonna hold them until I find some solid evidence. Hold them? You know better than that. I know a couple of crooks when I see them. Well, thank goodness the law doesn't put people in jail because you think they're crooks. You tell them, Judge. <laughs> Listen, you. You better... That's enough, Marshal. Deputy Fuzz, release the prisoners. Letting them go is a big mistake. And keeping them in jail without proof is a bigger one. This'll stop the stage. <laughs> Say, Bart, didn't you love the way the judge told the marshal off yesterday? <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, this'll block the road for sure. Let her go! Find anything, Marshal? Nothing. They took the strong box and just disappeared. Wow, that's four robberies in four days. You don't have to remind me. This time they used a boulder to stop the stage. The driver was hurt trying to stop in time. You gonna be all right? Yeah, he's lucky. Of course, none of this would have happened if we'd kept those two in jail. You're not blaming me for that. Well, who should I blame? Are you saying that I should let you lock up two people without any evidence? Marshal! Marshal Bravestar! 
Marshal, we found the serum to cure Charlie's virus. It should get here in a few hours. That's good news, Doc. I'll go tell Stella. She's going to be one happy wife. Well, look who's here. The pretty judge and the eager marshal and our little buddy. Hey, you can't do that. <laughs> I already did. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. Easy, marshal. He's just kidding. <laughs> Come on, Billy. Let's get something to eat. <laughs> JP, I'm proud that those two are involved in those robberies. Breaking the table isn't going to prove it, Marshal. You're right, but I am going to prove it. Just be sure you do it legally. Maybe you'd like to come along and be sure. I think that's a good idea. So how long are we going to follow them? Until they lead us to the rest of the gang. Another one of your gut feelings? Well, the only thing my inside is telling me is that I'm hungry. Uh oh they're separating. I'll follow Billy. You take part. Good. Let's go. Stay out of sight and keep in touch on the communicator. Any other orders, Marshal? Yes. Be sure and get some solid evidence. And be careful. Maybe I'll buy you dinner later. <laughs> Looks like he doubled back here. Hold it right there and turn around easy like. Don't move. Don't you even blink. Oh! One thing I hate is to lose my man. Is he all right? I yeah, just took a nasty hit on the head. Thanks, Marshal. I, I owe you one. You know something, Marshal? I'm, I'm glad you caught me. I'm tired of being a robber, hiding from the law, always on the run. It's a rotten way to live. If you felt that way, why didn't you stop? Because I wanted to watch over Billy. He's my kid brother. Your brother? Now that's a new twist on brotherly love. JB. Brave start calling JB. You wanted evidence? Well, I got it. Come in, JB. Brave start at JB. JB, come in. Okay, you guys. Let's see how tough you are against this. Uh. Hello there, Judge. <laughs> Brave started, JB. Come in, please. JB's in trouble. Let's find her. Marshal, Doc Clayton. You read me? I read you, Doc. <coughs> the stage with the serum is late. Charlie's taking a turn for the worse. He needs that serum, Marshal. He needs it fast. Please, Marshal, find that strato stage before. <laughs> before it's too late. I'll find it, Stella, and that's a promise. We've got our work cut out. JB and the strata stage are both missing. Come here. I can't spend the time taking you back to lock you up. And you'd only slow us down if I took you with us. So I'm turning you loose. I don't believe what I'm hearing. But don't think I won't catch up with you again. You're gonna pay for what you've done. But if you meant what you said, you can start making things right by finding your brother and stopping him from what he's doing. Well, I've tried before. I'll try again. Thanks, Marshal. Let's ride, partner. And I do mean ride. <laughs> you just hang on. I'll do the rest. Her tracks head into those rocks. Looks as if she got off here and walked. JB, are you there? JB! I'm here! But watch out! You heard her. Let's not keep the lady waiting. I also heard her say watch out. It could be a trap. Could be. Keep a sharp eye. Mm, we're boxed in. Brave Star, 
You're all right. It's all in a day's work. Now, what happened here? Well, Billy met the gang. He's their leader. They robbed this Strato stage. Go on. Say I told you so. I told you so. Well, I'd do the same thing again if you didn't have reasonable proof. I know you would. They've taken everything, including Charlie's medicine. Doc said Charlie couldn't hold out much longer. We better get after him while we still have some light. It's a big desert. Which way do we go? The best place to hide around here is Steam Flats. Right. Well, if it isn't my big brother. I've been looking for you, Billy. <laughs> Bart, you always said robbing would get me into hot water. <laughs> it looks like you are the one that got wet. <laughs> hmm, not one of my favorite places. You're not gonna let a few hot geysers bother you. Sure I am. There they are, all neat in one package. If we rush them, they'll pick us off like sitting ducks. Hmm. As I remember from my science class, all those thermal pools are connected. What are you gonna do? Give them a hot shower. GB, get your hammer ready. Now what I need is a big straw. And that hollow log should be just the thing. Strength of the bear! The bear! The bear! The bear! <laughs> down on the job. You okay? <laughs> Nothing hurt but my pride. Here's two of the beauties right here. Nice work, JB. That one will be down soon. You take them all back to town. We're going after the others. We've got to get that medicine back. Yeah, let's see what that coach was carrying. Must be worth a fortune to use a whole coach just for this. Emergency package, medical serum, delivered to Doc Clayton. Ah, it's nothing but medicine. This ain't worth nothing. No, wait a minute. If this is needed for an emergency, it's got to be worth something. A man's life may depend on that. <laughs> All the better. Yeah. Could be worth a lot. Maybe even enough to spring free the boys the marshal's locked up. Billy, you can't do that. Someone needs that medicine bad. Sure. <laughs> we do. To get my boys out of jail. This time you've gone too far. Now, <laughs> I gotta write me a ransom note to the marshal. It's too dark to find any tracks. Shh. Mm, well, looky here. He's all wrapped up, and it isn't even Christmas. What's this about? Read the note. So your brother wants to trade the medicine for those two prisoners. Come on. We can follow this Turbo Mule's heat track back to the gang. If you storm into camp, Billy just assume pour out the medicine. I'm sure he would. Well, then what do we do? I've got to talk to Stella. Please, Marshal, give them what they want. Stella, I just can't let those prisoners go. We can't give in to threats. 
Charlie needs that serum. I know. Believe me, I know. But Billy is like any other terrorist. If we give in this time, if they see what they can get away with, there'll be another time, and another, and another. What do you want to do? I want to go in and get Billy. But if I do, there's a chance he'll destroy the serum before I can stop him. That serum means my husband's life. I know. Tell me, what do you think Charlie would want me to do? Well, you know Charlie. He wouldn't want you to give in. It's up to you, Stella. I don't have the right to take a chance on Charlie's life. Not without your permission. Tell me what to do. Go get him, Marshal. Thank you, Stella. You said before you owed me one. Tell me, where's your hideout? I'm not gonna help you catch my brother. I'm asking you to save a man's life, and maybe save your brother's, too. What do you mean? If he keeps on committing crimes, eventually he's gonna get hurt real bad. You don't want that to happen, do you? No, I don't. No. Bad as he is, he's still my brother. Then where's the hideout? Take me with you, and I'll show you exactly where. All right. Come on. The camp is just over this rise. If Billy sees you, he's sure to destroy that serum. You have any ideas? Yeah, let me go in alone. Maybe I can talk him into giving it to me. Go ahead, but no tricks. No, no tricks, Marshal. Hmm, you trust that guy? I think so. He loves his brother and he doesn't want to see him get hurt. But maybe he wants to see you hurt. Golly, I didn't think you cared. Well, it'd be too much work breaking in another Marshal. <laughs> Let's listen in and hear what's happening. Ears of the wolf, of the wolf, of the wolf. Well, it's the big brother. Give me the medicine, Billy. You gonna let the boys go? Billy, let me have it. Listening's finished. Time for some action. Music to my ears. You think Sarah can hit that rock? <laughs> Sarah can hit anything I can see. Good, then do it. That'll keep the dingo busy while I go for the medicine. See you later, pard. Okay, Billy, cool it. You can say goodbye to the serum. No, Billy, no! Speed of the puma, puma, puma. You can stop the dancing lessons now. And just as well. Guy has no rhythm anyway. You, you turned me in! I had to, for your own good. Yeah, my own brother tricked me. No, Billy. You tricked yourself when you thought you could beat the law. His pulse is back to normal. All's well. The medicine did the trick. Stella, Charlie's going to be just fine. Oh, thank heaven. What are you going to do about Bart? He, he did help you get the medicine. I'm sure the judge will do the right thing. And speaking about the right thing, it's time you bought me that dinner you promised. You have any solid evidence I promised you dinner? <laughs> no, but I sure got this gut feeling, and it's called being hungry. That's good enough for me, Judge. Hello, Stella. Hello, darling. In today's adventure, Bart tried to persuade his brother Billy to give up a life of crime. But Billy wouldn't listen to his brother. If he had, he probably wouldn't have gone to jail. Have you ever felt that you'd take advice from anyone except your brother or sister, or even your mother or father? If you have, you could be making a big mistake. No one cares as much for you as your family. So when they give you advice, it's a good idea to listen carefully. Because what they say comes from loving and caring. 